All right, you guys. Let's see. Let's get overall energy. Well, no. We're going to go ahead and pull from the messages of love. Thank you for all your support. Um, please like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so that you can be notified when I do come on. Um, yeah. Last couple of reads have been very interesting. Pretty denial that came out with love uh, detached with love to clearly see the truth now that came out in a couple of my reads a couple of well that was actually probably yesterday so detach with love hermit energy to me um detach with love to determine or uh, to clearly see the truth that's the, the the hermit energy retreating from distractions to determine your own truth so that card came out in the midst of me shuffling will i take that yeah somebody needs to detach from a person place thing or situation uh maybe could be detaching with uh from your energy or using your detaching from energy so we have obstacles unwound uh, un, unwounds okay you guys Let's just say I've been sitting around all day because I just haven't been feeling it. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. So denial. Don't be in denial of the obstacles that you have at hand. Then we have boundaries. Firm boundaries are needed now. So that is the situation. And then we have financial challenges are affecting this connection. So again, same energy, different read. Uh, we had boundaries. Wait, we have financial challenges and denial in the read for, um, what was the second read for, um, what is the name of that, uh, it, what was the name of my video? I think it said, um, damn it, hold on, the name of it was, I want to say it right so that you can go back and listen to it, and I'll tag it at the end of the video, um, it is permanent decisions, temporary feelings. And, uh, yeah, there was a part two of that. They know that it was their fault. So should I pull a new card? I'll pull one more to see if it's a different type of energy. But this, like I said, the last read, this is a continuation. It's just like unhealed wounds uh, are, are blocking you to move forward. And that was kind of similar to what it is, you know. Like, you have to be able to get through that and to understand why Put the computer away. I swear to God, this is the same. I hate to say swear to God. Sorry. Put the computer away came, comes out and a leap of faith. It's safe to make uh, the move you're considering. So here's the thing. Release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you go let go. So again, regret. Someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. I don't think that's a part of this read. But here it is. You have to understand what no longer serves you. Denial. Um, boundaries, finances, financial issues can be a problem when it comes to a person, place, or thing, or situation. The obstacles of why you're taking so long to move forward. What's blocking you? You can't heal or move forward if you keep trying to sweep under the rug what it is. And in the re read, this is the third part to it, you know, and that's just how it is. So I took some time to today and you know, just kind of rested or whatever. But this is, here it is. What time is it? I kid you not, it's 12.15 um, Pacific Standard Time. Can you see that? It's 12.15, so I haven't... Okay, okay, there it is. I haven't done anything when it comes to the read or the cards. I left, actually, the card deck sitting here. The cards, the way that they were from the last read yesterday. Just because I'm like, okay... Um, got my little, you know, energies out of, out of this here. Let's just spray this. You know, I'm going to use Kaleidoscope Living. Um, this is a baggage claim. So any baggages that you have, any baggage that you have, it's going to help you release it and remove it. Come on now. It's a really good smell. But this is Kaleidoscope. Why is it not? Okay, here we go. Can you focus on me? There it is, Kaleidoscope Living, Baggage Claim. It has pyrite, abundance and wealth, black obsidians, changes bad luck to good luck, green adventuring, adventuring, stimulates willpower and increases prosperity. So that is what we have over the cards. And maybe I should start spraying those like that because, again, this is the same read adding in release and leap of faith boundaries are in this read now 
obstacles. Basically, it's just saying the same thing over again. So now I'm going to pull from the Dream Oracle deck. And then, I, I mean, it's just like a, this is the third part to this read. It's the third part. That's it. It's the third part to this read because of the fact that uh, part one and two is basically the same. It's like, like I said before, permanent decisions, temporary feelings. Okay, so oh, this is crazy. You see me shuffling this stuff. Sorry, y'all haven't combed my hair. Don't be. Wait, could y'all see that? Y'all could see my hair. Yeah, my hair is in a ponytail. I went from two braids to a ponytail. But I actually have to comb it to tomorrow because computer. Upgrade your mental software. This is telling you. Learn about who you are. Box. Reveal your secret power. Reveal your secret power. Bridge. Stay strong and remain connected to what is important to you. You see? And then it says, sex, kiss, and hugs. Face and embrace all parts of yourself. I think this, this card came out before. And at the bottom of the deck, dance. Move to the rhythm of your own soul. Of your soul, sorry. Move to the rhythm of your soul. Of your soul. You see? So the thing is, is that with this read, it's just continuing from another. Somebody needs to keep hearing this in order for you to move forward. Now this card... The same two, the same card came out, um, and it was the basically uh, letting you know that you know permanent decisions, temporary feelings. It lets you know that. So that came out the same exact way. So let's see what's coming out this way. And it, it was crazy. So like I said, go look at the last two reads. The one read, the first read to this is permanent decisions, temporary feelings. That was uh, the first one, and then the other one was. Uh, they know it was their fault. They regret it. Permanent feelings is or, or temporary feelings or permanent decisions or something like that. I can't see the whole thing while I'm shuffling. But the thing is, is just like it's telling you the same thing. You know, you need to hear it. And maybe you need to hear it three times a charm, right? Just to let you know that whether I, I said that if you're dealing with a situation to where this is, you know, should I take this? Yeah, the hottest, uh, the hottest love has the coldest end. You could have been in love, so you thought, and now it's cold. Again, bottom of the deck. Follow your desires and manifest the heck out of your life. That's it. Leap of faith. It's safe to make the move you're considering. Don't let nothing hold you back. Release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. You see what I'm saying? Um, and so denial. Let's clarify this denial card. So again, it's just like you, <laughs> you are, you, you have been in denial, you know, and like I said, this could be a situation to where you could have had a kid or it could have been a business or it could have been moving in to some, with somebody. Um, I watched this thing the other day on TikTok. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it either, but it's a, hold on, let me see if I can find it. Um, it was on TikTok and it said, and I always save all my TikTok, so I don't know if this is going to come up, but hold on. Let me see. I don't I don't know if it's going to come up or how to save it because I don't know. Manage account. How do you do the favorites? Um, oh, boy. Hold on. It was something on TikTok where it said about. Oh, wait, this hearts. OK, here it is. It, it, okay, so basically what it was saying. No, that's boyfriend. That That's husband stuff. That's husband stuff. I think I saved it. Maybe I didn't. Um, let me see. Hold on. I'm not available for anything that is not If we ever fall off. Hold on. Okay, anyway, I can't find it. But anyway, it was like, no, this is husband stuff. Here go my camera acting stupid again. This is husband stuff, you know, when it comes to... Um, Let's see if it'll focus from back here. You know, somebody, um, sorry, you guys. It was saying this is husband stuff uh, when it's like, oh, you want to do this? Oh, no, no, no. This is, that. that's for, that's the box for husbands. We're we not that. You know, that's not, that's a box for girlfriends. That's a box for husbands, you know. So let's clarify this denial. And let me, let me fully shuffle this in front of you again so you can see the cards. I can't make none of this stuff up, you guys. And again, I appreciate all the comments. You know, this is just, like I said, okay, so the cards that came out, Seven of Wands in reverse and 
the eight of swords in reverse. So mentally stuck. You're not mentally stuck. You know, the denial is not being mentally stuck anymore. The denial is, uh, you know, uh, knowing that this was a hidden personality of somebody. And that is where the denial comes in at. Normally, it would be overthinking and feeling trapped. But you're not mentally stuck. You know, you know that there was a hidden personality or, um, you know, a lack of space when it came to what was happening. So, no, you're not you're not stuck. Seven of Wands energy in reverse, you know. So here it is. Eight of Swords, more air energy. Wands here is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. But this is in reverse. Seven of Wands energy in reverse is um, giving up, you know. Feeling like this is a threat. Like this person is threatening your inner peace, you know. And uh, what it was saying is that working less. No, if you're working on yourself and this person uh, is, is only worried about their bottom line. And when you, you know, first of all, it said that they were unavailable in the last read, right? And they're unavailable when you need them and when you want to go over the things that you're working on. They think that that's all stupid or it's not, it's not, uh, um, it's not worth their time or whatever so the obstacles he unhealed wounds are blocking uh a movement you know unhealed wounds are blocking movement so the thing is is just like like i was saying you you this person was like stopping your bag you know they don't want you to stop theirs but remember they only they're only available when it's time for you to uh when when, when you when they're ready you know, when they're ready, judgment, you know, the judgment is here. So a new phase begins. The obstacles come with you healing and this new phase beginning. Uh, Knight of Wands energy, the Drake energy. You only live once, so be bold, be fearless, and do what you love. Messenger of acting first and thinking later. So now you're acting first and you're thinking about it. So when you talk to this person or if you do talk to this person, you're just like, you know what, you only live once. You know, I'm doing what I love. Watch me work. This came out yesterday. Oh, so anyway, Wands again is the Aries Leo Sag um, here. And then the Judgment Energy. What is the Judgment Energy? Let me see. I have to look it up. I don't know all the energies. It's okay. We working, we working together. We making this happen together. So the Judgment Energy is, let me try to find it. Um, this is Fire Energy. So, yeah, Fire Energy is Wands. So there you have it. Watch me work. Eight of Pentacles Energy. Uh, Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy, you know, they're watching you work, you know, your messengers are acting first and thinking later before you used to think about it and think, think, think. Now it's like you don't have to think you you you're in your queen of uh, swords bag, you know, queen of cups energy. You know, you are compassionate and intuitive. However, you see right through this person and see what it is that they, they don't want you to get your bag. They want you to stop everything when it comes to them. And here it is. And, and so queen of cups, water energy. Ten of Wands energy again. Aries, Leo, Sag, heavy burdens. This is not a this. This is was a burden for you, but now you've reached and you understand what it is that you got to do uh, with this being here. You have no perspective on what it is that they want to do now. This is not a burden to you. You're accomplishing your goals, you know, and you you are supporting yourself now. Two of Swords energy is trusting, you know. Two of Two of Swords is difficult situations and being indecisive you know and finding solutions you got the solutions and the solutions is that you have to set firm boundaries with this person right that's the solution so now we're going to clarify look at that oh page of wands energy we got more wands here and so the wands is again um aries leo sash but the page of wands is in reverse this time so the page of wands being in reverse is uh confusion miscommunication and conflict this you're setting boundaries and now this person is confused they're confused and they feel like you're, you know, there's a miscommunication between you guys. And now they have a conflict with you. So remember, I told you they were like, it's not you, it's me. You know, no, it is you. And it's now it's becoming about me. You get what I'm saying? So finances is here. Financial challenges is affecting this connection. Financial challenges is affecting this connection. Because again, you are losing your bag or you've lost your bag dealing with this person. You've lost your bag or losing it because this person, yeah, King of Cups. They're not the surprise, the uh, the emotional support and, uh, and maturity. They're not the support that you need. Your finances come and they go when your energy is good. And this person is not emotionally supportive or mature enough to do it. This is your energy, Cups energy, you know. Only love and compassion and understanding can truly bring you the happiness and tranquility you think. And when it comes to your finances, no matter how you do it, what you do, and um, whatever you want to do, this person is not supportive of you. So in turn, guess what? It's telling you, put the computer away, work less, and strengthen your relationship. No, I'm done. 
I'm done, you know. I'm done. So, so far we have energies, Aries, Leo, Sag, Virgo, Taurus, uh, Capricorn, and Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have one air energy here. Oh, no, we got a few airs. We got all the, almost all the signs here. But, you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. The hottest love has the coldest ending, you know. So, this could have been love, sex, lust. Oh, yep, here they go. Look, these came out the same way the last time. Are you guys seeing this? The Magician and the uh, Star card came out the same way last time. It was right here, and I don't know what it was. Go back and watch it. I'll go back and watch it, too. But, yeah, uh, the Star Energy is here. And so the Star card, with the same put the computer away, you know, the Star card is having uh, hope and uh, great fortune and also having faith. But the Star also says, and I'm going to... Um, tell you what judgment is as well but the star card also says that no matter what the situation you find yourself in there's always hope have faith and be optimistic and focus on self-care so no you can't put the computer away magician is here this is card this is air energy right it's not card of gemini it's air energy let me make sure yeah air energy yeah mercury air energy so it says you already have all the tools at your disposal you uh we are we are all powerful conduits and conscious creators if you can dream it you could do it so remember whatever you dreamt up or whatever it was this person only wanted you to do it on your off time never on their time and then when when they were around you when they decided to come around it was all about what they wanted and so putting the computer away is probably what they said they wanted you to do is to put the computer away you don't you what you're doing this ain't gonna make no difference it ain't gonna give you no bag it ain't gonna do this so you were indecisive at first and um the judgment card came out let me read the judgment to you if i could find it hold on the judgment says free yourself from whatever holds you back hold on where is it at right wait 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 i thought i saw the judgment here here it is Okay, free yourself from whatever holds you back and embrace your true calling. Be reborn, shed your old life, and live according to a higher truth. So that tells you right there. Like I said, the judgment energy is, because I can't remember that far, fire energy, wands energy. You know, uh, I'm sorry, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So it's telling you, you know, all of this stuff isn't working for you. Face, all, face, and, face and embrace all parts of yourself, of yourself. Upgrade your mental, your mental. Stay strong and remain connected to what is important to you. Reveal your secret power. It's telling you. Release and let go of what no longer serves you. Have a leap of faith. Take a leap of faith. It's safe to make a move, uh, the move that you're considering. Radical acceptance. When you accept what no longer serves you, judgment energy, right? When you accept that, new beginnings. You can surrender and let and, and and can help. Excuse me. You, excuse me. Radical acceptance and so your sur and surrender can help you let go. So you're letting go of this magician. You're manifesting. You have in faith. Remember, the hottest love or lust has the coldest ending. And then messenger of soul and steady pinnacles energy. You know, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You know, bottom of the deck. You know, messenger of, of, of slow and steady. You know, Knight of Pentacles energy says, you can't get the results without first doing the work. Show up, work hard, and keep pushing every day. You can't stop working on you. You can't stop working on you. So you need to release and have faith and keep doing. Dance. You know, move to the rhythm of your own soul, of your soul. No one else's. All of this is saying the same thing. You know, Queen of Swords. Supporter of truth and, um, and protection. Yes, yes, yes. Now you cutthroat now. You're not cutthroat in a bad way. Queen of Swords, stand up for yourself. Always speak your mind and don't take shit from anyone. Air energy. You see? So now you're speaking your mind. Now you're just like, you know. So here it is now, you know, with all this being said, you have the third times. One, two, three. Third, third times the charm. You know? So you know what it is that you need to do. You know, and I can't tell you anything else. Or I can't show you anything else. You know what you need to do. You know, you know what you need to do. Nobody else can tell you what it is. And so I'm going to go ahead and leave it at this because, again, this is the third reading. All right, you guys.